YouTube. We are out trout fishing with the kids. I got my son Kevin. He is doing catch and release. He's already limited out earlier today. We got Lyle here who made a quick a quick showing this morning fishing and then uh, went home. But he's got he has one so he can keep a couple more. I'm done fishing for the day. I got my limit because I'm super cool like that. You got a tree? And he snagged. <laughs> I told him I'm not doing nothing today. My back's sore. I'm going to be just the cameraman. Oh. I just saw Ted went live from Off the Hook Outdoors. You guys can check out Ted. He's doing some trout fishing too. We won't be on long. Um, we'll see if they're biting. If not, we'll just shut it down. We were out earlier today, but it was super windy where we were. And we would have had a bad live. Hey, Miss Joan, Daniel Barry. What's going on, guys? I'm sitting on a bench right here. My back's all blown out and messed up, so letting the kids do the work today. Do you have power bait on? Is it uh, is it floating down or is it holding? You might need more split shot. Merlin Johnson, welcome in. It is very brown indeed. <laughs> yeah, just focus on yourself. Let him do what he wants. Downtown Ernie Brown. What's going on, buddy? Hey, Stephen Merchant. Just doing a quick pop-up. Uh, we fished earlier. Cab and I limited out. We allowed five each in Pennsylvania. They just stocked. Today was opening day, so it was all chaos. So we just came down to this spot, which is quieter. And I know there's some big ones stocked in here, so we'll see if we can get That's something. But best fishing time's kind of gone. Last year, Lyle caught a Yeah, Lyle caught his big pally here last year. Mm -hmm. Cooking brats. Oh, man. That sounds awesome. Fresno! What's up, buddy? What's going on? I blew out my back, so I'm not doing nothing. I caught my five, and I really honestly didn't enjoy it. <laughs> just wanted to get some trout for the smoker. So I just sat there, and as soon as I got my fifth one, I didn't even bend over. Kev netted them for me. Yeah, Kev caught his limit first, and then had to wait for me for like 30 minutes till I can finally catch my last two. Yeah. Might be, might be. We caught um, fall fish out of here too. Smallmouth bass we've caught out of here. We should have brought the other rod, just set it up and let it sit. Should have. Should have, could have, would have. What are you using for bait? Show us. I'm Hold it steady. Already. Switching already. He started with a uh, trout magnet and an orange. Um, like a trout worm, power, Berkeley power worm. Lyle, what are you using? Uh, power bait. He's got straight up power bait on because he can still keep fish. Sometimes I tell the kids what to do and other times I let them just do whatever they want. And today I'm letting them do whatever they want. It might be best not to watch Lyle because he's probably doing 20 things wrong. <laughs> yeah, sometimes it works. Let's see what Kev's doing over here. Don't tell me we didn't bring any in here. What are you looking for? Lures. They're in that plastic bag in the trunk that I said here's where the lures are. You want me to go get them? Okay. I'll get them. I'll go for a walk, guys. Let's yeah. go walk to the car. They took our uh, playground. There used to be a playground here they moved. I can get it. This car has an automatic trunk thing, so I don't have to lift the back. Let's go for a walk through the mud. I got some Crocs on. I got my Crocs because I can't tie my shoes with my back. <laughs> Somehow I'm going to drive seven hours tomorrow to see the Eclipse with Lyle. And we're going to 
camp out towards Lake Erie somewhere illegally, I guess. So if anybody knows any connections out towards Erie, we're looking for a spot. Oh, Chris, you're getting old, buddy. Bogley backs out too. Look at this mess. This is my wife's car too. Soon to be my car. I always steal the car. She buys them new, uses them, and then I throw all my crap in them. And, and then eventually she just has to go out and get a new car. Does this not look like opening day of trout? Look, Tasty Cake products, whole bag of lures, little power butter worms. Yeah, Marilyn, that's true. If my if my dad saw half the stuff I do, techniques, he'd be yelling at me. Sitting my rod in a rod holder, he gets mad at that. <laughs> the catfishing community rubbed off on me. I'll be out here trout fishing with three rods and a rod holder sometimes. Just multitask. Got some geese down there. There you go. <laughs> I got a bag of treats here. Just don't let the trash blow around, okay? Fishing treats, not ones for you. Decide to do the vertical one. Uh, blue fox spinners, yeah, we do. I've been using the Joe's Fly spinner, the big brass one with the black tail. It's because it shows up really good in murky water. But half the time, they're not even in the water, so they're not going to catch nothing like this. <laughs> but Kevin is helping Lyle, rigging Lyle up right now, so. Hey, Susanna, welcome in. Hope you're doing good. I, I check your lives out sometimes. You're hanging out. I'll put your lives on. I don't comment too much. But I visited. I do visit you. Yeah, Blue Fox, I believe, is like the, with the Vi, is that the Vibrax? I think we got one in the bag. I'm holding the phone, so it's a little, uh, little hard for me to help out, and I'm doing that on purpose so that I don't help out. No, I don't, because I, next thing I know, my back's out fully again. I was on the floor for three days, so I don't need to go back to that. I'm going to walk down and look. <laughs> right. We go to the hospital, we're going to call the ambulance because my back hurts. I couldn't get in the car. Couldn't get off the floor. I'm going to just walk down. Here's a guy fishing down here. I won't stick him on camera. I caught a monster carp in here. You guys won't remember the video, but if you happen to remember it, it's when I was, uh, I was using a tiny ultralight and I ended up walking all the way up the stream following this like 30 inch carp. All right, I'm gonna go back up here. I don't like putting people on camera. <clears throat> that 13 awesome people. Yeah, Vibrax, yep, that's a good lure. I, I'm kind of partial to the zero MEPS, um, plain old silver. That's kind of my favorite in the double zero. I love that lure. Uh, but I have caught them on the Vibrax as well. I think everyone's kind of got their go-to lure. Let me see what this lure, let me see if, hey, shh, shh, don't tell anyone, I get, oh God, let's just see what we got here, is he rigged, what are you going to put on this one, Kev, you want me to put a Vibrax on, yeah, okay. or a Joe's Fly, all right, let me set you guys down here somewhere, I do have the little mini tripod on this, That didn't last long, said I wasn't going to do anything. Are you done? What? Are you done? No. Sorry, the live went off there for a second. Better not sit the phone down. Ernie was on the, uh, in bed on the floor for two weeks. And, oh, Lord. Yeah, and I wish I... Uh, I think it happened when we helped stock. I was... Because that's the only thing that I did that was kind of out of control. I went and stocked the trout for like 12 hours. And a lot of it, I was sitting in the back of a gator in awkward positions holding barrels of fish. But it actually went out when I was like doing dishes or something. I don't even know what it was. It, like I tweaked it at first. And it just gradually got worse to the point where I was on the floor. I couldn't move. 
and at one point I went to my neighbor's uh, inversion table, which dang near paralyzed me. I went in there and I, I couldn't get out of it. <laughs> I won't do that again. By the way, something that holds you upside down. Yeah, inversion table inverts you. Okay. Wait, does that mean um, the skin goes on the inside and... <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't think that's what it means. If you're watching in the background, we're a fishing channel. Uh, feel free to hit the thumbs up and connect to us. That is going to, yep, there you go. That's a little twisted there. Uh, feel free to sub to us. <laughs> we're, actually we're, great at, we're actually great at fishing. No, we're not. This is why I stopped. That was a good cast, Lyle. Lyle's more of a cat fisherman. He will sit there and watch carp and catfish poles with me all night long. Kev does everything. Kev's a really good trout angler. So all the locals in Pennsylvania, I don't know if you have that uh, up where you are, Chris, but probably on like Facebook and stuff. All the locals took, like hate Mentor Day, it seems, when the, the kids are out fishing, which was last weekend. So I was blaming Mentor Day for my slow start today. Trout just came up right there, Lyle. See where those white bubbles are? Straight in front of me. He, there he is again. He's just hitting the top real soft. So I was blaming Mentor Day, but then Kevin caught his limit again before I did, so I guess I can't really blame it. <laughs> can't blame the kids. Can't blame the kids. kids. You're not that little anymore. You need help? Just do it. I bet. Thank you. If you ask him, he might say no. You have to learn how to be a Pennsylvania trout fisherman. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. We got some bluebells here. They're a little past peak. Let's see. There's some over here. I want to show these guys bluebells. These, blue these plants here are called bluebells, and they are edible. I was eating them in one of my videos. You can take a leaf off. Wait, can you eat the flower? You, yeah, you can eat the flower, the roots, or the leaves. Well, hopefully, hopefully I identified that plant correctly. No, I did. I know that plant inside and out. Let me show you what me and how I probably killed one of my neighbors. The creeks were packed last. They haven't died though. We were out with, uh, if you, uh, Chris, you're in some of our lives. You may have seen Travis Yoder's name pop up, but he has four this little is, boys. This is a fun fact. I read this up. Don't say this is bad. I did this every time when I was a kid. I identified You are a kid. So you get this. You gotta find it on one of these plants. Yeah, that's a bluebell. Take the front one. Uh, is that the one that has? It's got like a honeysuckle. It has a little piece of honey in it. Stinkers. Suck on it, and it's honey. Tastes like honey. Yeah, the whole the whole thing is basically filled with honey. So what I was saying was. Uh, Travis with his four boys was out with his buddy and four boys and I had my two boys so we had 10 little kids fishing in like one area <laughs> it was pretty wild <laughs> maps are incredible as well Maryland says Bass Pro has a single hook egg presentation for the tributaries oh nice yeah some of the I fish a lot of spots up in New York that are only allowed like a single hook is that instead of a treble, it's a single hook and you put like an egg off the back? That's kind of like a popular setup in Alaska for uh, uh, steelies and some of the salmon. Like silvers, I think I fish yeah, silvers that way. Good. You need more weight. Put more weight on it. How do I put more weight? Find more weight. Okay, Go in the, the zip the bag. Here, let me see if I can find you some. Watch out, buddy. <laughs> Let's see what we got in the bag. Mm. There we go. That's what I'm going to put on. Okay. You're going to hold this for me while I do that. And try to keep it steady so you don't make everyone sick. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually pretty good at it. Kevin, so they got something to look at while uh, we're waiting.
waiting for a fish to bite. Did you show him the Joe's fly? Kev's oh. got the Joe's fly on that. I got wrinkled this in the fish. This is my favorite right there. You have split shot on there? Yeah. You should slide this split shot up about 12, 18 inches up. You, I don't think you should slide split shot up. Comment below. Who's right? Because when you do it, it's the board just goes down. This okay, Smarty. This is why I feel like Kevin's fish by himself. We have some major disagreements on presentation. The boy is on a diagonal turn all the way down and you're moving it forward. So who caught their limit today? I did first. Oh yeah, never mind. <laughs> That's a bad boy. Wait, who's who's the licensed fishing guide here? Uh not you. <laughs> okay, punk. Now see if that holds. If that doesn't hold, I'll take over the camera duties. If that doesn't hold, come back and see me and I'll give you some more split shot. <laughs> <laughs> Watching this hook behind my head. Uh, it's such a great idea with the mentor weekend before. I love that the kids first. Yeah, I love it too, Chris. Uh, and you know, you see all the the bad the bad sides of it, especially on social media. And we saw plenty of it, even when we were stocking. There was adults out there. But it's still worth it. I mean, the kids that are out there, they get a crack at it. I, I, I think some people take stock to trout a little too seriously. I and mean, they're, they're fun, but, you know, they're, they're a little fish. They're stock. They're fun to eat. Guilt, for me, it's a guilt-free fish. <laughs> you don't feel bad if you kill it, take it home and eat it. Because they can't survive a lot of the waters they're put in. But here they will live, believe it or not. Um, you'll see us fly fishing this a lot later in the summer. And it's crystal clear. Yeah, Lyle loves to fly fish. He's still got a lot to learn, but he's he's good with getting the pan fish. I feel like Lyle's gonna catch one. I'm gonna zoom in on Lyle. What's up, Eddie? Is that is it holding a little bit? Or drift? It can drift. You just don't want it to drift super fast because the trout will be facing upstream and you want to bounce it down in their face, basically. Mint chucko chip. Ah, uh, yeah, we've, I've caught a couple shark. We don't do salt water, but uh, we get down there occasionally. But yeah, this summer, since I'm full time, not working anymore. Yeah, I will definitely go out shark more. Bulk, what's going on, buddy? Merlin is in a single hook regulations. Bulk, Lyle says hi. Hi, Bulk. <laughs> usually, we go to the ocean my day. Usually, usually, in summer, we go to the ocean two times. But you're all work now, so we can do like two trips, but like four day trips. Let me see if I can come down here. Oh, I better not fall. 351 in the house. Alvin, what's up, guys? Hello. See Peyton, what's going on? I miss fishing. I'm glad you're teaching your kids while they are young. Yep, no, I'm teaching. I'm, not young. I'm teaching. <laughs> Kevin, this is how you fish, buddy. Listen up. Does it look like I'm fishing this kid? <laughs> or I'm teaching this kid? <laughs> I already taught him everything he needed to know before he uh, could remember. So now he thinks he knew all this all along. <laughs> That's the problem. If you teach them too young, they don't even remember you taught them. Yeah, I used to. Yeah, I used to fish in our front yard in a bucket. I think that Joe's fly are best when you fish them as slow as you can. I slow that retrieve down as much as possible. Yeah, the reel stinks. That reel was busted three years ago, and then it started working last year. I think I need to grease it up a little bit. Terry B, what's going on, guys? Four years old is a good age to learn. Hard to learn too much earlier than that, and you can, like, burn a kid out. Honestly, what he learned most is, like, it just turned him loose in the creeks, and he catches bait for me. <laughs> he would catch, Helger, he learned how to catch Helger mites, crayfish, and honestly, that's the best way to teach a kid. If it's nice and warm, they can play in the water. Because what, like, what everybody asks is with like all these fishing tips the thing that people overlook is like you got to be fishing where the fish are so like it's so important oh wait are we in a tree this is good uh oh, you're just on a rock somewhere. 
He snagged, the professional fisherman snagged. You got to know where the fish are. Opening day is a great example. Like I'll come out where we were earlier and there'd be people in spots where you know there's no fish, just the low possibility of catching anything. Um, just a low probability area. So just reading the water, and I think as a kid playing in the creeks helps you kind of figure out the deep holes. Obviously, when you're swimming, you know where the deep holes are. You still snagged up? You're going to use Lyle's rod? Don't fall in, buddy. Yo, we got a uh, super chat from Incredible Bulk. What is it? It's $4 for Big Papa. Yeah! No, Bill! Give <laughs> Give everybody $1. Yeah, we share. We share. Hey, Omar. <laughs> Welcome in, buddy. Yo, buddy Biggs. What's up, buddy? What is up? The great flood of 2024. I'll tell you what, man. Floods, earthquakes, and an, e in, uh, an eclipse coming up. I feel like we. Yeah, I was laying on the floor when we had that earthquake, and some people barely felt it. I'll tell you, our house shook. Two glasses fell out of the cabinet. Pictures were all turned on the wall. I don't want to like exaggerate, but that's his tank is upside down. That's <laughs> not. I mean, I was laying on my back because I was you know hurt <laughs> so i felt every little vibration that house was a rocking hey raptor will welcome in uh jo we had a joe's fly on the one we tried the trout magnet um we caught it i caught my limit on uh trout magnets that's I, I always use them for stock almost always use them for stockies uh kev was fishing with the uh spinners mainly trout magnets we did the power bait a little bit um night crawlers butter worms what's that oh look he snagged again guys <laughs> no you're not climbing out there i'm not rescuing you today <laughs> Want a free burger? What does one free burger mean? Yeah, if, if only, yeah, go ship that burger to me, Omar. Send it on over, buddy. Yeah, I was surprised, man. I, it was shaking, and I, it was bad enough that, like, at first I thought it might be like fighter jets coming over, and I was going to stand up and go check it, see what they were. So I started like getting to my feet, and I'm like, you know what? I'm not going to do that because it just started getting the first five seconds it built and then from five seconds to ten seconds it was shaking so I just stayed there. You're better off just snapping that thing off and retying wasting an hour trying to get that out. I'll go get your other one and snag. Let's go back up here. Yeah we already uh Kevin and I limited out earlier. So he's doing catch and release. Um, Lyle can still catch four more. He just got the one this morning. He was only out for like half an hour. We got there at 4 a.m. <laughs> so we sat there for four hours before we could fish. So they were basically done before you could start. <laughs> I'm going to try to get this unsnagged. He's snagged down there now. Oh. You want to hold this? Yeah, sure. Okay. I like holding. All right. Yeah. Ooh, eagle. Yeah. I heard it. Uh, it's a red tail hawk. Oh. Those cartoons get me confused. What's yeah, real? Abort. Abort. If you're just coming in. <laughs> if you're just coming in, I'm busted up. My, I pulled my back out, so that's why I'm not Congrats. doing it. Congrats. You won $50,000 for breaking your back. So, we're just out here hanging out fishing, but I'm not really fishing. 
I'll tell you, we see all, welcome into the chat, and there's a lot of new people in here. The Vertical Live seems to bring everybody in. Uh, just awesome to meet new people. But if you're not subbed already, please uh, connect over to me and make leave a comment. I'll connect back to you. You snapped off again? No, it's just the edible grass. Lyle's over here eating onion grass. And 100% is edible. All right, let's do our native edibles. <laughs> and right here is garlic mustard. This one's edible too. I hooked myself. Uh, Marilyn said it grew up on the uh, Oatka Creek fishing and swimming, catching crayfish. Nice. Hey, Quince. I'm well, kind of just playing out here. Welcome in, by the way. We, I limited, Kevin and I limited out this morning already, so we're just kind of goofing around. Figured we'd go live. No, you're not even in the water. Why don't you go get that undone? If you have to break it, break it. All right, buddy. Have a good day. Thanks for coming in here. You the man. You the man. Yeah, we did we did pretty good this morning. We shot a video, most of a video. We're gonna finish it up in uh, New York. Actually, <laughs> we're going up to New York. Uh, no, we're going to Erie. Now nah, we're going to Erie. We were gonna go to New York, but the weather didn't look good, so we we're going to Lake Erie instead. I think I'm still trying to talk him out of it. All right, let me go sit in this chair. It's snagged, Lyle. So see if you can get it unsnagged. <laughs> this is trout season here, Quince. They just stocked today, so... In Pennsylvania, it's like the crazy day where everybody's like elbow to elbow. So we moved down to a different spot. So it's not as many people here. Figured we'd come back and do a live. I really couldn't go live. Um, this live? Yeah, we're live now. Is this live? Kev's retiring. Hey, Stuart, bud, what's going on? So yeah, we're after trout. It, it would have been not a good live this morning. Trout season's elbow to elbow. It gets really chaotic. Um, people were fishing right across. Yeah. It got, it, well, it gets, you better not say it. They watch our YouTube. Yeah, you better not say it. We have a lot of people that will watch where we go and then try to pick our spots off, which is why we got to go so early. <laughs> so, yeah, they well, came in They came in right on, on us. And one of, the, uh, one of the, the quiet spies that watch our channel don't say nothing. <laughs> Lyle is not hooked up on a shark. He's actually snagged, believe it or not. I'm hooked up on a shark. <laughs> I don't really care. If somebody comes and talks to you and fishes next to you, that's totally cool. But when you like sneak on in and don't say a word, it's like it's just awkward. And then he's like, yeah. Uh, let's be positive. I don't be negative. Just break it off if you have to, bud. You, you tighten the drag, righty tighty. I think you're fighting a real big. And, and act like you're fighting a shark <laughs> until it pops off or breaks. Pulls it air at like 45 pounds snap and turtle. Is the other rod rigged up? Because I could just go throw that on oh, there. I don't need, I can't fish anyway. I was going to say I could just cast the other one in and sit it there. This is why I didn't want to come out because now I want to fish. You can. No, I can't. He put it between his legs. You have to tighten the drag more and pull till it breaks. Okay. If it if it's yeah. not getting harder, you went the wrong way. <laughs> Don't break the rod though. If you want to just walk the rod back to me and I'll take care of it. Don't break my rod, please. Why don't you let the line out? Bring it back to me. I'll get it. Thank you. Jerry, yo, Wendy. We got, got Jerry in here from the Jamaican Shore Fishing. Oh, uh, I, thought I thought you were. I want to hear you pronounce Jamaica. Jamaica. Okay, you got it today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Say hi, Jerry. Wait, is it possible? 
No, not box car. <laughs> Wendy, hey, hey. Uh, Stuart, thank you. Kicking out the trolls there. Appreciate it. Uh, yeah, we don't. You don't just come into somebody's chat and ask for a shout out. That's not how it works. <laughs> Ah, oh, thank you. All right. Can you hold that for me for one second? Yes, sir. Everyone that comes in my lives and my chats, they know we support you guys back, but there's a way to do it and a way not to do it. But it's probably just a little kid. It might be uh, my friend in secret. <laughs> we find out it is him, uh, you got to take care of it. Point at that. He has all the action on. No, I'm putting you do. Yep. Well, I wasn't looking at you, so you got to teach him again how you break it off. That's why I told you to look at him. <laughs> You're in the multiverse, pal. Hey, you said to that. Heck? Yeah. Oh, heck no. Stay on the camera while I bring you up, sir. Yes, sir. You got a preference for what you need? Nope. Let's keep a look on Kevin. Kevin in his natural habitat, rigging rods. Goose? No goose. Oh, uh, spinny. Yeah. A, sm a spinny majiggy. Who wanted the Vibrax? I think that was Marilyn. Somebody asked for a Vibrax spinner. Yeah, I'll hold that up and show these guys what it looks like. You see that? Mm, it's not really focused. Now it is. That's the Vibrax spinner. Blue Fox makes them. Can you put that on? Mm. That's Lyle's Easter present. Wait, that was? I don't know. Probably. Yeah, one, of you, one of you got this one. Oh, yeah, that was mine. Congrats, Kevin. <laughs> You're sus. Anybody pop it up in the chat? Uh, let me check. Probably. If you see any of your comments, just respond to them. Don't say, yo, what's up? Yo, what's up? Yo, what's up? 351. 351 in the house. I don't realize how many people come in. That's the crappy slayer. 351, the crappy slayer. Let's see if he's catching this thing. Labs. <laughs> Do we want someone to um put down their chat link? Drop the chat link. All right, boy. Let's hand off. Yeah, I think I made the WC. <laughs> All right, Lyle's got the lure on. We off I go. I'm gonna go fish for something. Bro, something's on his back. Yeah, somebody can drop Stewie's link for you. I would appreciate that. He's one of my big moderators. Keeps the channel clean. Hey, Nate, um, not in this session. This is Pennsylvania, and today is opening day. Uh, my little one down there and I, we eliminated out, so he's doing some catch and release. Lyle didn't go out long with this. You know, he only got one this morning. Um, but we couldn't go a lot. We don't want to blow out the other spots. So this is also a good spot, but um, I didn't want to blow out the other spot. <laughs> so, yeah, um, hopefully we'll get on to something. Just kind of playing around. Who's breathing in the mic? Yeah. Yeah, this is a child-friendly channel, family-friendly. So we keep it PG here. 
Um, everyone's got to be nice to each other, and there's got to be nursing. That's pretty much the rules here. Go somewhere else if you can't handle it. Let's go down and see what Kevin's doing. You like that, Laura? What? Uh, yeah, that's why I said just throw a worm on that one, let it sit. What do you got going on down here? Oh, cool, Nate. Thank you, bud. Appreciate that. You're, no! Are you a local dude or are you just somebody who found me on the internet? Sorry to be jumping you around. This isn't normally. My lives are usually on a tripod and steady. Um, but I actually I pulled my back out. So this is a, I'm preventing myself from fishing by, by holding the camera here. And I figured that would force the kids to do it on their own today. Oh, sweet. That's awesome, Nate. If you got a channel, make sure you comment on one of my videos. Uh, I read all the comments and then I'll track back to you. Um, and I'll make sure I connect to you. So it's a weird day. The sun is kind of popping out, in and out. It, it was sunny and was pouring rain for a couple seconds. Earthquakes. <laughs> we didn't have any earthquakes today. <laughs> Oh, sweet. Nate's got an up and coming channel. Yeah. Oh, trash, Kevin, trash. Come on. I told you to tie that stuff down. Sorry, guys. We got some trash below. We got to grab. Good lord. You got to tie the bag shut. We'll be right back after these brief messages. You got a dummy? What are we, you know how to tie a knot? Yeah. If you don't know how to tie a knot, tie a lot. Tie a lot. <laughs> don't want to be one of these people leaving trash. Nice, fly tying. Yeah, that, that's what Stuart does. He does a lot of <laughs> uh, fly tying as well. Is that secure? You know what to do with that lid? Put it under the worm. These are our uh, these are our night crawlers. It looks like we brought our trash out here. Should I put it here so no. Put it on no, put that under this. Yeah. And then uh, this will secure over here. What's that? Actually that that'll hold that that ain't gonna blow. Lyle, we're gonna go upstream a little bit, is that alright? Okay. We're gonna go for a walk up the up the stream. There's a gun club behind us. Yeah, it's cool. I like uh, I like finding the the young new YouTubers. I tend to like watching their stuff better than the guys have millions of subs. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, this is one of the spots we're going to be, uh, you're going to see us out in the water. We did the Sunfish King Championship two years ago here. This is where we were. Was it a year ago? That was two years ago. We didn't do it. This year we were somewhere else. I forget where we went this year. Oh, we went down to that pond because everything was flooded. We've had so many floods this year. There's some big boulders out there. That's a good spot, but I think... I think they're going to be strung out here because they stocked three weeks ago and we've had four or five big storms. i got to watch my back on these roots. Let me get to a stable spot here. There we go. I remember once, I don't, I'm pretty sure it was a channel cat. It was like two years, three years ago in the summer. I came down here with, I think it was you, mom, and Lyle. And I was just digging into rocks looking for crayfish and stuff. And this huge catfish came out of the rock. It was hibernating, like a huge channel cat. It wasn't huge, but it was like the size of a bullet, but a channel cat. <laughs> I wasn't really paying attention to what you just said. I was staring at the phone, trying to get it to work right. And he's snagged. Yeah, this creek's really cool. We have these big, huge boulders in it. And around each boulder, it's like 10 feet. <laughs> it's like 10, you're not swimming today. It's like 10 feet deep around the boulders. 
and everywhere else it's like a couple feet. So it's kind of a unique fishing you spot and the catfish and smallies will be right under these. And in the summer you can, when you walk to the new section, you just see them darting under one of the boulders. So you, if you looked quick, you might think there's no fish in this creek, but they're definitely in here. We've caught three, four or five pounders, well not five, three and four would be our bigger smallies that we've caught out of here. Large, that was a large mouth. Shush, shush, you don't need to be blowing our spots out, boy. Let's clean up trash here. Are you going further up? Okay, I'm gonna check on Lyle, I'll be back. Lyle's on the bench. <laughs> You're not gonna fish. That's what Lyle's my catfishing buddy. He's already in catfishing position. Sit on this bench. I'm gonna go, you wanna walk up there with us? Oh, yeah, sure. Let's go for a hike. Sorry to shake you guys up. But time to make you all dizzy. Um, I haven't taken those jigs out of the, the package, Stuart, because I want to do a mail call. <laughs> I thought about doing it this morning, but it just got so chaotic with the kids and crowd. I thought, you know, what I thought to do is like I'd start doing mail calls while we were uh, live and, and just bring it, open up the packages and show them off. But um, definitely going to be busting those out later this week. I'll be up. Uh, I'll be out on Lake Erie next two days and the rest of the week I'll be uh, I'll be live fishing around sure here for trout. Could change. What's that? Sure about that, it could change. Yeah, that's the plan anyway. Hope it's... Ow, ow, ow. But if you're definitely for sure, it's going to be cloudy up there. Uh, what do you want to do? You look like you're done. He is done. You done? Or you want to drive somewhere else? You want to drive that pond? Yeah, I want to go to Harley's. Hope you're ready to have fun. You're gonna stare at Kevin's face while I drive a car. This is this isn't like a monetized. Uh, even though we are monetized, this isn't gonna be a monetized live. So don't feel guilty. Don't feel you, know, you don't have to stay. Just figured we'd pop up. Lyle, I'll take your ride, bud. Okay. <laughs> I'll you're lucky, Kevin. I was gonna push you. Kevin, you gotta help too, bud. I can't carry all this stuff. I'll pick that up. Here, I can hand me that white bag and then you can get the heavier stuff. I'm just an old man. Going to go for a trip. Uh, Nate, I have no idea where we're going to get in. I don't even know what we're doing. My older boy is huge into uh, space. He's got a nice telescope. And we're going up there to see the eclipse. That is going to be cloudy. Don't even get me started with this. <laughs> But if my boys want to go somewhere and I can make it happen, I'm like I told them it's going to be cloudy. We're not going to have to see anything. But what well, fun. I mean, I like traveling. wish my back felt better. But I do like traveling. So, yeah, I kind of thought, like, and people are like, oh, you know, we've been booked a year out. But in my experience, if you just get in the car and start driving, things happen. So I'm just going to go see what happens. We have a car tent. Uh, we got a hay trip video out there. They gave us a free tent we showed off in one of our recent videos. But we're going to take this and we're going to camp right in the back of this um, somewhere. Probably get chased around by police. Welcome in there, Dwight. Good to see you. Hope you're feeling better. Woo! Our worms. <laughs> so nasty. We, have, we raise our own worms. All winter long, we have like all these containers sitting around the house. And we just put all our kitchen scraps in there. And by, by trout season, it's just monster night crawlers in all our boxes. So, there's your, you want to get in and then I'll hand it off? Yeah, I'm getting Okay. We're going to go to a pond that's about 10 minutes from here. It's supposed to be a kids only pond, but it's, you're going to see a bunch of adults probably. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Like I said, this is not monetized, guys. Uh, if someone else is live, I think. Uh, hop over the way. Yeah. yeah. But you can hop back in a little bit. You want to reverse that so they see you? You know how to do that? Yoi! Oh, yeah. Oh, 
Oh yeah. Did you notice I got a haircut? <laughs> ah, Stuart knew. Stuart knew. The quickest way to get there. Hey, I got a pet shop. Don't quite let me either. Get I'm me not. demonetized and get a copyright strike. <laughs> <laughs> you always have to watch the car radio when you hop into a car. You don't need any copyright strikes and all that junk. Thank you, Carly Express. Right. Yes. Remember. Woo -woo. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Choo -choo. I have a... You're in the train. Thank you. What's your train guy? Alright. Heading out of town. Wow. Oh, my God. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Here's how he yelled at us to get off the property. This guy right here, everybody <laughs> should report him. Report him. Yeah, Report him. He owns the creek, apparently. Yeah, it was just kayaking, and then he just started yelling at me. Yeah, yeah. He acted so nice at first, like, oh, can you please scooch over? And then we, are, it's like a minute later when we were trying to hop back on the kayaks, he's like, can you please move? I don't want to get. That may or may not be factually accurate, guys. It probably is. Watch this. That's where to get where I'm going here. Yeah, just get into her. Make sure. Super. It'll take us there. I'm not digging for gold, Dwight. I don't think I'm digging for gold. Are you picking your nose on camera? <laughs> no. That's usually a digging for gold thing. Was I? Probably. <laughs> and I don't edit my lives, so it's going to have to go out like that. No, no. Kevin, how dare you? There's another creek. That's called Lyle Creek. There's another creek. There's three creeks in a row right here. This is Ridge Valley. That's where the tornado was from. Oh yeah, I forgot about that tornado. Drive as fast as we can. Baby chicks are getting huge. You can read chat. You can read so that they know you're seeing their comments. Put their comments yeah. Miss Joan is in. Yep, I think she's been in since the beginning. She said, sorry, got cut off the call. With the call. Oh, no worries. We're in a car driving to the next spot. It's about 10 minutes away. And then uh, we can only spend a little time at this pond if we're not catching them. We gotta go home and cook them. So I'm gonna bake up some trout for dinner. Yay. Now we're gonna have my trout on Monday for lunch. Are you smoked? Yeah. I'm not smoking here until like Tuesday or Wednesday. I gotta be home. I gotta marinate them for 24 hours and then I smoke. Two day process. You'll have them like Wednesday or Wednesday. If what time are you leaving again? to Monday and we'll probably be back like Monday night. Yeah, Monday night. Creek. creek is this? Creek. You know what spot I want to go to? What is that spot we went? Trying to hold it straight. 
When me and you were fishing, there's tons of pallies there, tons of trout, and we the huge storm came, lightning all over. I didn't know you were talking about that exact spot. There's 40 spots on a skip back. That was one of them. We were fishing that horrendous one. Yeah. That's where Aiden was today. So it's packed. Was he in? What? Was he in the live? Yep. He said, oh, that's awesome to uh, something uh. that I didn't read above. <laughs> no, that's awesome. <laughs> Hi. Picking your nose. That was awesome. <laughs> hey, Stu, that was a good stream, said Carla Express. Now that's old. You better, you better scroll, boy. I read that. Did you read? Mission Discover was in. Yo, Nolan, what's going on, buddy? Up oh, and he left. <laughs> <laughs> Mission Discover, you have to apologize. I've got my uh, one of my best men. Stuart, on Stuart said, Kev, Kevin, did you bring the fly box I sent you? I don't think it's in this car. The big fly box. You, yeah. If we fly fish right now, Stuart, we get punched in the face. Seriously, you don't bring a fly rod opening day in Pennsylvania. You want, you can't even throw a spinner in half these spots. In fact, some of these spots they will say uh, hook and bait only, so that you're not casting constantly. Dude. Oh, I'm not trying to catch fish. I'm trying to annoy people. <laughs> Is that what you said, or somebody else said? No, no one said that. You That's said what that. I'm, I said that. Made it up. Pretty much. Sue so said, hi Nolan, my little brother. Went out with my second cousin and everyone in that area was having trouble. He got five and I got, I, I only got three. Sometimes they don't bite. Joe's Manolo, Manolo. Marabou, Jig. No. Mm -hmm. Joe's. Joe's fly. Joe's. Joe's. Sorry if I pronounced this wrong. Joe. Oh my god. It's Is this a name of a. Yes, name? it's a joke. Okay. Joe's Manolo. Manolo. Perdomo. You gotta go back to your Re way. Remember? That might be a different language. <laughs> I'm not sure. Well, hello, whoever you are. <laughs> I'll find out shortly. We're here. Let's see how crowded this place is. I wish they would make this kids only. It's supposed to be kids only, but it never is. <gasps> ducks! Yeah. Wow, I love the Don't ducks. go feeding the ducks, please. I to go feed the ducks again. I got the rods. Take the camera. You guys have survived. 
survive the trip. Tell me if I got good footing. Keegan, what's it. going on, buddy? Asani, welcome in. Lyle, get your rod. Oh, I want to see duck cheese. Got it? Okay. The duck is cute. Bud files, what's going on? Switch your rods up. Jose, what is going on? Welcome in. That was Jose, that's the name you're trying to pronounce. Jose Manolo Perdoma Romero. Where are you from, bud? We're fishing Pennsylvania, USA here. You want to go in the back section? Okay. You want to go in the back where we slammed them by the goose? I will. Uh, you're going the wrong way. <laughs> Lyle's going to go pet ducks. Okay, we'll just we'll put Kev on camera and I'll reach out. Nolan, did you get out please give me a thumbs up and connect over to me it's my fishing channel so it's very good to do the wind might be a little bad here yeah if we get behind this house the wind might not be bad this guy's always here i don't mind somebody that age fishing some of these younger guys should be fishing here Any luck? No wind oh, really? That's not good. That's one right there. Yeah, that's the spot I was talking about. They're jumping right here. I fish it from the other side usually. Want to come on the other side with yeah, me? Okay. Get kids. Go wherever you want, but I'm going to film. I just jumped over there. Yeah, Curly uh, Express. This is a ver one of those vertical lives, and it attracts a different crowd for sure. Which is why I was did it. Tried to meet meet some new people, hit a different audience, um, and it's not really a planned. So I kind of do these when it's not a planned. If you see me pop up in this format, it's usually going to be chaos a little bit, but. You never know, something exciting might happen. Uh, if you want to switch to a lure, just let You going on the other side? Yeah. Girl's walking something. I'm not sure if it's a cat or... What? doesn't look... She's walking something. I'm not sure if it's a cat or a raccoon or something weird. It's not a doll. Look at this crazy duck with a... Yeah, I called, I called on the opposite of the dog. Let me show you the spot that I think you should fish. Yeah, it's walking for the cat. Oh God, I was trying to see that dude. The idea of the vertical. Uh, Wolf's Den, I don't know if I said hi to you. I stared at your name, but I don't know if I actually said hi. Welcome in. The idea of this is like, and I actually do like the format a little bit because I tend to hold my phone a lot. Um, and if you're watching somebody live and you're just kind of walking around or you're doing something, it's a lot easier to hold it vertical. Here's a, here's a mom goose on her nest right there. I'm going to fish over here. This is where I would fish, right here. They don't listen to me. I'm telling you, they don't listen to me. But if they wanted to catch fish, right here is the spot. Let's get in here. Cav, I try right here. If they... yeah if you guys are new to uh you, i was gonna say facebook but youtube like if somebody makes a weird comment and uh you go to the, you, the, you can a, a moderator can click on their channel and go to it if they were just created today that's a troll uh definition of a troll someone's not just going on youtube for the first time today and then searching out a fishing channel I'm not buying it so that's what we tend to do you get you tend to know 
the MO of trolls after a while. Just focus on what you're doing. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Fish on, baby. Ah, oh, he spit it. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Lucky that he had a cat. Cab was hooked up on the spinner and kicked it right out. Make sure I'm doing my. right I told you to fish there you, you had one on first cast if he catches one <laughs> now they're swapping rods Lyle surprisingly wants the rod that just caught a fish Right on that rock that's kind of flat right here. Yeah. And then cast there. Cast a little bit further next time, but that might work. You want to spin it, feel those blades spinning. Can you tell when it's spinning and it's not spinning? Twelve awesome people in here. Appreciate y'all. Thanks for coming in. We'll give this another minute or two, and then we'll shut this thing down. It's super windy out, and uh, arms getting tired of holding the phone. <laughs> Kev, okay, you know that's super shallow down there, right? Yeah. It's like a foot deep. Trust me, it is. It's a foot deep. It, it doesn't. There's one right there. Just came up to your left. See it? Circle. Yeah, right here is where you want to be all day long. You want me to show you? I'll catch one. First cast. Hold on. Your rod's spun around that rod. Look at the rod. Right? Hold this for me. Hold this one. You got it? Yep. Don't drop it in the water. See how it's spun around? Hey. Oh. How that happened. You do one cast, yeah. Penalty cast. Penalty cast. We do penalty casts here. If I have to unsnag somebody, I get to take a cast with that rod. If they get a hug, no. okay, this way, the sun's more favorable in this direction. What do you have on, Kev? Trout magnet? You say yes? Yeah. You want to keep your tip high. What? Tip high. I keep it there, Trout. Yeah. Uh, you guys think you should keep your tip up high when you use Literally everyone saw the short or you put the tip up after I told you and you immediately caught that fish. That's a it's not a coincidence. Might have to show these kids how to fish in a minute. Now comes the wings. 
Right, let me take one cast, Kevin. My setup? Your setup, boy. Take, take the phone, and I'm going to show you how it's done. I can't even sit the phone down. All right, y'all, watch this. Battery 15. That's all right. We're going to end it soon anyway. Oh, crap. I'm back. Watch this man fail. Watch this man right here. Watch him. One's for bulk. There it is. Here we go. Watch and learn, boys. Can I have one? Oh, the duck went upside down. They're feeding. Oh no, the duck's drowning itself. It's monetized. Wow, wow. Oh. Yeah, uh, that didn't catch anything. I that count. No, no, no. It not count. Part of fishing means you gotta no. go around the stuff in the water. No, no, no. no, no one more. <laughs> Watch this. Can I film them? Oh. <laughs> Look, you didn't have one, everybody. You just. Two cast, two fish, I cast again. No, you don't! You ridiculous! Liar. I had a bite, you don't stop it. You don't stop when you have a bite. That's what you tell your kids when you want to go home. <laughs> exactly. Okay. All right. I may take a cast with the Lord, show them he's really bold. You know what happened, guys? All these kids came out here and caught You're all these right. fish. Excuse me, I did not catch any today. I think I'm going to end it, guys. Kevin's clearly not going to catch him. I'll give him one cast. Last cast. And then we're going to get out of here. I appreciate y'all popping in watch here. This, watch this. I'm going to catch him. <laughs> Shut up, Stuart. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Sam V8. Welcome in, another member. Awesome, awesome. You can smell that letter. I did not get blanked, Stuart. I have caught my limit today. I'm not even allowed to catch any more fish. That's how uh, deadly I was today. Woke up. Kev did catch his limit before I did, but oh, whatever. Yeah, that I did. <laughs> <laughs> Stacy, welcome in, Bank Fishing Adventures. I haven't been live in so long as I've just been a, a mess, health-wise. Last cast. He catches one. Stewart's never going to let it down. Right there. <laughs> Alright, we'll give you another cast. See how I do it? I let you have another cast. I don't argue it like you did to me. Yeah, guys, you can head over to the community page and uh, check out my fishing ability today. <laughs> I'm just joking. But we had a good morning out there. I feel like it counted. I'm gonna wrap this up. I'm doing exactly what you did, Dad. Oh, you had another hit? 
I gotta cook dinner. I'm gonna bake some trout with asparagus and some herbs from the garden. Which restaurant do I call? That one all the way over there? I think it's Bella Vita. Alright, we're heading out of here for real. Duck fight. Appreciate y'all coming in here. Where's the sun? Let me move it this way so you can see me. I'm right, glad you liked it. Uh, Stuart, thanks for your work moderating. Appreciate it. You guys all have a great day. Yeah, I'm probably going to pop up if I find a spot to legally camp tomorrow once we're set up. So uh, watch for some pop up lives. Turn on the notification bell so you see me when I pop up. And uh, we'll catch you on the water next time. Peace out. See you, Stacy.